What's going on everyone? Tech Tosh coming at you guys with a quick little update. Now we got some good news. CES 2019 has came to an end and Nvidia has came out with some good news. Alongside with their 2060 announcement RTX graphics card, they also came out with a nice little update about talking about their new driver update and what it's going to include. Now this driver update just got released January 15th and there's some good news for certain people if you do qualify for it. Now you got to have a GTX 10 series card. Now that got to be whether it be a 1060, 1070 or 1080 and you also got to have one of the 12 monitors that are tested and qualified for this feature. Now what this feature is, it allows certain monitors that are adaptive sync and free sync to have G-Sync capabilities now. Now if you're unaware of what G-Sync is, a lot of people are because it is expensive. Certain monitors that have G-Sync, they're double the price than what free sync monitors are or adaptive sync. So a lot of people don't opt in for G-Sync monitors, they get free sync or adaptive sync and they don't even use them. They probably just get them because it has the 100, 144 hertz refresh rate or up and they just, they don't even worry about using free sync or adaptive sync because they may have an Nvidia graphics card so they can't even use it but as of january 15th they allowed this driver update to qualify for certain monitors that have the capabilities of g-sync without having to pay any money you just got to update your graphics card drivers and if you have the one of the monitors that qualify out of the 12 you will have capabilities for it now i updated my drivers i have everything that qualifies for it. i have the monitor and i have the 1070 super clock graphics card i did the settings rebooted the computer double checked my g4 settings and it does say now i have g-sync capabilities and i started playing a few games and I have noticed a little difference. Now whether that's a placebo effect or if it's just my imagination, I don't know, but I have noticed the game is smoother for sure. Now G-Sync is supposed to help with the ghosting effects and smooth out the gaming experience and all that. So if you're unaware what G-Sync, FreeSync, Adaptive Sync is, I'll have some links down below that will have some articles that you can read on about what it is and what the technology is all about. I'm all new to the technology so I'm not familiar with everything about it. I'm still learning and reading about it myself, but I will show you guys here in a minute on how to activate your free sync adaptive sync and make sure g-sync's good and make sure you're running it if you have everything that qualifies all right well before i take you to my capture card and show you how to double check your settings and make sure it's activated because my screen recorder doesn't pick this up i want to show you guys the first step that you need to do now if, like i said if you double checked everything you have a 10 series graphics card and you do have the monitor on the list that they have out of the 12 monitors like i said it'll all be linked down below so you can double check to see if your monitor qualifies for it mine does so it's one of them that was on the list i want to show you guys you got to go into the settings now to activate your adaptive sync free sync technology if you don't activate it it's not going to pick up and then it's not going to just be on by default so i scroll down here uh, it's un underneath image if you have the same monitor as me it's underneath the image settings now you're going to scroll all the way down to here where it says adaptive sync as you see my adaptive sync is on once you turn that on i'm going to take you guys to my screen recording to show you guys how to double check everything all right everyone so after you did the settings on your monitor to activate your adaptive sync free sync settings you're going to go over here go to geforce experience that's got to be installed if you have a graphics card i'm pretty sure that's installed I'm pretty sure everybody's familiar with how to do this but update your drivers what you got to do is go over here to the top left to drivers check for updates as you can see there's nothing to really check for because i already have the latest geforce drivers it should be the 417.71 it was released on 115 2019 now once the drivers are updated i rebooted my computer and like i said make sure you have the adaptive sync free sync settings activated on your monitor if you have the monitor that qualifies now after you do that just to double check to make sure everything's good to go you're going to right click on your screen go to nvidia control panel now the first spot you want to go is manage 3d settings this is to make sure that it's activated and that it says it qualifies so you're going to scroll down to where's it at where's it at right here monitor technologies so it should say g-sync compatible if it doesn't click on it now mine says g-sync compatible and fixed refresh so mine was already default on g-sync compatible like i said some people said they it wasn't showing for them they have the monitor they have the graphics card why is it not showing it was because they didn't have the actual setting activated on their monitor like i said you got to make sure you have the free sync adaptive sync setting turned on on your monitor then reboot and then come back here again check to see if it's on here and if it's selected select it but if it doesn't show up after all that then i'm sorry guys you probably don't qualify for it or something's going on that is not working and just kind of wait for some updates uh, like i said this is all new technology i'm still learning everything i'm trying to learn what exactly i can test to see if it's working and other than what playing in games and trying to see if it looks good it does look good and like i said it feels like it runs better and smoother the ghosting is a little less like i said i don't have a lot of ghosting because i do have the 144 hertz refresh rate so that alone it makes the game smooth the next thing you could do here is go over here to display set up g-sync make sure g-sync and g-sync compatible is checked it should be by default by default enable for full screen mode is checked but i went over and checked windowed and full screen because i don't play all my games in full screen 
screen sometimes. Also make sure you have the right monitor selected if you have dual monitors or more. And then scroll down to display specific settings. Make sure that's enabled. Now I do got this little display here. Selected display is not validated as G-Sync compatible. I don't know why it says that because everything that they announced says it is compatible. I went into my settings like I just showed you. It does show that it's compatible and it's activated and all my settings are checked to be enabled. Like I said, I'm still learning all the technology. So if I come up with any updates as far as what monitors work more, if there's any more monitors that are updated to work or if there's some more information about how to double check it or anything of that sort, I'm going to update you guys. That's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys have the monitor and you guys have the graphics card and you guys can enjoy this free driver update. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. If you guys like the video, be sure to hit that thumbs up button. Also hit that subscribe button if you want more content like this. If you have any questions, concerns, or have any remarks on it, or if you have any more information you can share, comment down below. And that's going to be it for this video, guys. Y'all stay nerdy. I'm out. Peace.